guys, 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 guys. HMK here once again with some more Kingdom Hearts 3 news, or I should say Kingdom Hearts news. Today it got revealed from the D23, or I should say Disney site for D23 Japan in November that we're getting some very, very interesting details that Disney and Square Enix are going double down with Kingdom Hearts, with the Kingdom Hearts Premium event. Apparently we're going to get a lot of surprises, a lot of special guest speakers talking about the series, and a new video confirmed for the event. Now a lot of people's like, oh this could mean anything, I'm pretty sure this is going to mean Kingdom Hearts 3. Because it can mean Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key because it will be out in Japan by then, it's coming out in September. And from what we saw from D23 here a couple of days ago, you know, we got the big Hero 6 concept art and the confirmation that it's going to be in the game. And since we still have a bunch of events leading up to uh, um, D23 in November, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a big, big, big Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. The next Kingdom Hearts trailer, you know, that, you know, even supersedes the one that we saw at E3 2015. This is huge. And, you know, since they're having so many surprises, and a lot of special guest speakers. I feel that this is gonna be the time where they're gonna have like everyone on stage. May Udari Ikaru, Shinji Hashimoto, Tetsuya Nomura, Taiyu Sui, all these people up on stage, uh, Mr. Sakaguchi even. Um, and then they're like, the release date for Kingdom Hearts C! Ah, company everywhere! And then we finally get the release date because that's something that Tetsuya Nomura has been alluding to so many times throughout this year and you know it might be the thing and everyone's all like oh Kingdom Hearts 3 is still maybe early in development nah dude and from what they've been doing from what they've been you know showing us they've been like yo information 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 2015 bank ass year so I really do believe that it might even you know it's gonna come out either late 2016 maybe early 2017 at the latest but I feel that we finally may get the release date at November in the at D23 in November. This is big, big news. We basically, we, this is basically confirmation for a trailer. You know, they said a video is going to be there, a special video. And what else are they going to talk about when it comes to Kingdom Hearts? We already got Unchained Key coming out, and you know, they've been putting out so much news about Kingdom Hearts 3 that, you know, anything before or after Kingdom Hearts 3, maybe like Dream Drop Distance HD or 2.9 Remix, those fake shits. Those are things, those things are like afterthought at this point. Because I mean, like, Kingdom Hearts 3 has been in our fucking faces so much this year. So, like, it, it would be ass night to, like, you know, go back and forth and stuff like that. I understand that Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key may have been a possibility if it didn't come out in September. But since the event is coming out in November and Unchained Key is coming out in, um, Japan in September, and since it's a Japan event, I really don't see the point in, like, saying, oh, there's gonna be the American release day. And by the, you know, Probably we're gonna have that game released in America or uh, overseas outside of Japan before D23 in November even happens. So this is a big deal, a huge deal. And D23 in November, November it's only a couple of months away. So, so, so hype. Square Enix, they're not fucking playing when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 3 and I couldn't be happier. And until the next news about Kingdom Hearts 3, until the next piece of information, maybe TGS, maybe something else, Jump Festa, I've been HMK, D23, November, new trailer, and I'll check you guys later.